Hey DT, joke time. Groan. Why did Robin cast flame magic on Ike's family crest? Uh, he just can't resist a good fire emblem. Yeah, how did you know? Lucky guess. The galaxy is full of unanswered questions. But none so important as who would win in the fight. Join me, TJ. And me, Dark TJ. As we take you on a quest to discover the power inside Ooh, Amiibo. Yeah. And settle in Smash, which Nintendo All-Star reigns supreme. This is Smash Supremacy. What's up, Fire Emblem fans? Flame on! It's me, TJ. And me, the black magic that binds this show together, Dark TJ. Welcome to episode 12 of Smash Supremacy! Today we match might against magic with those two characters from that one game that only like 17 people play. First up, making his second Smash appearance, the returning radiant hero, Ike, who will be tested by tactician magician, Harry Potter. He means to say the avatar from Fire Emblem Awakening making their Smash debut, Robin! I hope you got a special guest lined up who's actually played a Fire Emblem game, cause I don't want to have to carry you through another episode. As a matter of fact... Joining the battle is Fire Emblem expert and gamer entertainer, our amiibo collecting brother in arms, Abdallah! How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here from the YouTube channel Abdallah Smash 026. So pumped up to be here on Smash Supremacy. Thank you so much TJ for having me aboard, especially on the Fire Emblem episode. For those of you guys who are familiar with me, you know that I'm a huge fan of the Fire Emblem series. I played every single English Fire Emblem release to date, and I can't wait to see Robin and Ike go head to head. That's gonna be awesome. Before we burst onto the battlefield, let's get a good look at our Sword Swingers medieval movesets. Show me your moves. We like Ike. We like Ike. King Arthur famously drew the sword from the stone, but Ike here is making a name for himself by shoving it back in. Even he feels the hurt. This medieval fantasy video game cowboy hero proves he's the fastest draw in the East with his quick draw side special. Ike's ether demonstrates some serious sword skill and serious showboating. And like most of his fellow Fire Emblem fighters, Ike's down special is a block and counter. Plus holding your sword with a reverse grip adds a major style bonus. Robin brings the best of both worlds, blending the skills of a swordsman with the wisdom of a wizard. Mini Merlin can cast three different brands of Pikachu Static Shock. The longer you charge it, the more powerful the spell. But Magic Mike here doesn't exactly have staying power. After he runs out of juice, he's just shooting blanks. Robin's arc fire can hold his opponent at bay with a rising pillar of flame. You shall not pass! With the help of a little wind magic, this Robin makes his best attempt at flight and hits you in the process. Wait a second, fire, wind, all this element bending? Maybe Robin really is the avatar. Or a Pokemon. And finally, tapping into a little dark magic. Yes, go on. Robin casts a dark curse that steals the life force from his enemies. I definitely got to learn me that spell. Okay, I'm gonna make a bold prediction here. Admittedly, my knowledge of Fire Emblem is somewhat lacking, but I can recognize a winner when I see one. The trait that all Radiant heroes share is a red cape. It represents truth and liberty. It's a symbol of power, not to mention being very fashionably appealing. It's mighty and majestic. I aspire to earn my own long flowing red cape someday. I'll be known throughout the gaming world as a champion of justice, defender of the weak, and vanquisher of evil. That's why for this battle, I like Ike. Time to wake up, Kirby. I think you've spent a little too much time in dreamland. Abdallah, since you're the only one here who's actually played a Fire Emblem game, tell us how it's gonna go down. All right, so we are gonna pit a level 50 Robin versus a level 50 Ike. For those of you guys who played Smash Bros, you know that Ike is one of the strongest characters in the game, simply because his smash attacks will do massive damage and have huge knockback. Robin, I would say, is a little bit quicker and has a little bit more versatility with long range attacks, such as the L Wind and the L Fire, and then the Charge Up Thunder attack that he's got. So it's gonna be a very, very tough fight. But if I'm gonna put my money on it, I'm gonna say, it just because I love Fire Emblem Awakening, I'm gonna say that Robin is gonna put Ike to work. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. To me, all these Fire Emblem characters are just like lame versions of Link. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did when I didn't know the answer in math class. Copy off the smart kid. I'm gonna go with my man Abdallah here. Boy wonder it is. Too bad his big boss Batman couldn't be bothered to show up. I'm no idle layabout. I plan on lending a hand. Get off the stage, Marth. You had your chance and you blew it. Now beat it. Excuse me? Did I stutter? DT, that's Krom, the main hero from Fire Emblem Awakening. Am I supposed to be impressed? Face facts, Crumb Cake. The flame on your candle is out. 
And this Robin has left the nest. Robin is a skilled strategist and master of both Eleven Sword and magic. Certainly more useful than a simple swordsman like myself. Duh, you obviously weren't even good enough to put in Smash. Anything can change! Actually, DT, Crom makes a quick cameo if Robin gets the Smash Ball. So you let Robin do all the work, and then at the last second you sweep in and steal the glory? I gotcha. Quiet, you. If we mixed it up, I could drain you faster than the battery life on the Wii U gamepad. I wouldn't be so sure. You'll taste the bitterness of defeat right after Robin gets the Smash Ball. Yeah, sorry, but all items are disabled for this show. Now go power down before you hurt yourself. We're not done yet! Yeah, we are. While Crumbum goes and has himself a good cry, let's fire up the amiibo and settle it in Smash! <laughs> Prepare yourself. You're not ready. Three, two, one, go! steps ahead. Robin! Robin took Ike's tattered red cape and buried him in it. Ike's heroics were no match for Robin's sword and sorcery stylings. He set Ike's emblem on fire 44 out of 50 fights, boasting an 88% win rate. Who in Wario's Woods is that girl next to albino Harry Potter? In Effie Awakening, Robin is an avatar for the player, and they could choose to be male or female, so Sakurai gave players in Smash the same option. Pretty cool, huh? For a second, I thought maybe I was looking at a grown-up Ice Climbers reboot. <laughs> Whoever said cheaters never prosper? Copying Abdallah totally paid off. Now let's see if our home players made the right call. It doesn't really matter since only like 17 of you have actually played a Fire Emblem game and have no idea who any of these people are. As it turns out, 52% of you did vote for Robin, but only because you thought he was Harry Potter. So Robin will be battling again in round two. Maybe Ike should go back to making candy. Abdallah, I can't thank you enough for dropping in and sharing your Nintendo knowledge. I've been a follower for years, and I gotta say your channel is such a treasure trove of gaming goodness. Tell the players at home how they can connect with you. All right, if you guys would like to see some more of me, by all means, you can visit my YouTube channel, AbdallahSmash026, or follow me on Twitter, at AbdallahNation. All the links will be in the description below. I've got a lot of Nintendo gameplay and 100% walkthroughs for you guys to check out. I just recently finished up a 100% walkthrough, a 56-part series of Yoshi's Wooly World co-op with my wife Jess. It was really awesome. I'd love it if you guys checked that out. Other than that, I got lots of plans for all of the upcoming releases for this holiday season, such as Super Mario Maker and Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer and Star Fox Zero. It's going to be awesome. So swing on over to my YouTube channel and click that subscribe button. Better get there quick and soak up as much of that killer content as you can, because we don't have a lot of time before Mega Yard Yoshi overruns the planet. All right, TJ, it's been a blast. Uh, I can't wait to be featured on Smash Supremacy in a later time. And hopefully if you guys enjoyed the episode, definitely smash that like button and show some support for the series. So until then, guys, I'll see you later. Bye now. Later.
Hey, DT, how do you feel about doing another giveaway? Fine. In honor of Robin's victory, we're giving away a Robin Amiibo, courtesy of our friends at Amiibo News. To enter, leave a comment in the comment section below telling us which character you would like to see added to the Smash roster via the Smash Bros. Fighter Ballot. We'll tally up the results for the next episode, and a random participant will be selected to win the Robin Amiibo. I'm pretty sure I know who they're all going to vote for. It won't be long before the Smash selection screen looks something like this. Hey, cool, I'm on there too. What? Hey, how'd you get ahead of me? Now for this episode's combat comment. This week's comment comes from our good buddy, Paxisus. He writes, I'm one of the six plus billion people Dark TJ mentioned who have never heard of Fire Emblem. I am picking Ike because Robin brought a book to a knife fight. I guess it just goes to show that knowledge is power. Do, 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 do. Thanks for the comment, old pal. DT and I love doing this show, and we really want you to feel like it's your show too. Technically, it's my show. Other TJs kind of like furniture. We love connecting with you on Twitter and Facebook. We love reading and replying to your comments, doing giveaways, and hearing your feedback. Last episode, we teased a community contest that we hope will give us another really fun way to interact with you. So players at home keep asking how they can get on the show. Well, here's your chance. If you want to join the battle as a special guest on an episode of Smash Supremacy, send an email to metj at smashsupremacy.com and tell us if you're a brawler, sword fighter, or a gunner, and why. Be creative and let your personality shine through. While you're at it, add a sentence or two telling us why we should pick you. I already got to carry this guy. This show can't handle any more dead weight. We'll be accepting submissions from now until November 1st, the release date for the Mii Fighter Amiibo 3-pack here in the States. Murica! This contest is open to all our player pals worldwide, and there can potentially be multiple winners. The way this show operates, we have no way of predicting in advance which characters will be facing off in the episode or episodes hosted by the contest winners or the exact date or dates that episode will premiere, so make like the Wii Fit Trader and be flexible. Can't wait to see your submissions, and I look forward to sharing the Smash Supremacy stage with you. Make sure you find your way back here again next episode when the gassy garlic gobbler Wario stinks up the joint against the clown car Koopa Kid Bowser Jr. See you next time. Thanks for playing. Dark Side out. You know, I just noticed something. Your head is oddly oversized for your body. It is? Uh, no, not that. What I was gonna say is that the next episode's matchup is the first time we feature bad guys on the show. You clearly have a deeply flawed and oversimplified view of the world. What do you mean? The only reason you think of Wario or Bowser Jr. as bad guys is because you've been conditioned by society to identify with the main character, regardless of that character's morality, affiliation, or judgment. Can you give me an example? Okay, try this on for size. Who's the villain in Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong? It might interest you to know that the backstory given in the official manual is that Donkey Kong escaped from Mario after being mistreated. The game sprites even show Donkey Donkey Kong in a small, confined cage guarded by whip-wielding Jumpman. Really? It's no wonder DK went bananas. That's so sad. Need more? Who is the hero in Donkey Kong Country? Donkey Kong? Oh, so now he's a hero, is he? In spite of the fact that his greed led to the biggest banana wealth disparity in video game history by stockpiling every last peel for himself. King K. Rool is only trying to redistribute the wealth. He's like a regular reptile Robin Hood. Now you're just trying to toy with my emotions. Aw, oh, maybe you should go find Krom and Ike and the three of you can go have a good cry while anybody still watching clicks on one of those two bad guys. But you just got done... Aww. <laughs> Sucker.